That's right, that agrees with the directions they've sent us. Okay. Yeah, so we've had a little uh, stop over there. Three just of a mile. Turn left onto B944. Okay. So, and go to the CL. Yeah. South Cara, that's what you're looking for? Yeah, that's what they tell you to look for. I've done Poppy's gate again. The what, sorry? I've done Poppy's crate door again. Oh, all right. Just. She's coming out? No. All right. It says continue up the hill until you see a sign on the right, Paul Farmhouse, Orkney CL, and then turn left into the drive. Okay. Not that, that's Murrayfield. Murrayfield? Didn't know that was here. Oh, it's up here. Pool Farmhouse, Orkney CL. He said, don't worry about the fact he says, sorry, we are closed. <laughs> Unless you've booked, and some, unless you've booked, have a confirmed booking and completed, uh, and have submitted a completed something or other. Right. Done most of that, haven't we? Yeah. Hey, we're on pitch five, aren't we? Yeah. He rang to confirm it. Normal arrival is supposed to be two o'clock, but he text us earlier and then we said can we arrive at one o'clock and he said yeah and he will text you before you before you get here I assume go around to the right and he said watch the tight turn here So this is quite tight, isn't it? If you've got a caravan on the back, and, or even a car on the back. Back, it would be a bit tight. Yeah. Right, this appears to be it. And a big post here as well, you've got to watch. Just keep vehicles off the grass. Yeah, it's quite tight getting in there. Okay, so let's get our bearings here. Well, that says five over there. And that says three and five, so I'm a bit confused. Well, that must be five there, must not it? To the, to the right here. That's four. There's five. There's five, yeah. Turn around. Shall we turn around? Do they? The food waste digester there. Do they really need to cycle around the site, do I? No, this is the site. <laughs> Got a really good view out the side window here. That pops. A little toadstool bench is there for you. 
<laughs> Mushroom benches. <laughs> and have a look over the top here. So this is the best one for views here, isn't it? Pitch four. Yeah, it is. There we are. We've come from up there, haven't we? I can't remember. Let's look over the top. Dreaded midges out a bit, but it is raining, so that might keep them down. Should we do a do a selfie before it really rains? I don't think it's going to rain that much; it's just drizzling. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> Okay. Fish, red meat, poultry, bones, bread, fruit, dairy produce, cooked food scraps, crushed eggshells and tea bags. Okay. Just having a little wander around. Bit of a rockery here. Bins and things. Bin, is it bins? Yeah. There's a water tap there. Yeah, I know there is. I'm just yeah. looking at that, those buckets. <laughs> and waste, glass, plastic, etc., etc. Okay. A little walk in there, is there? Come on, perhaps. Oh, it just takes you out into to the, the field into there. Into the field, yeah. Okay, let's just have a quick look. Oh, somewhere for pocket to run here. Okay. Yeah, we're plugged in. It's 10 amp electricity, so I've set the limit to 10 amp. And uh, we're using 6.6 .6 at the moment. Amazing how much you use. I hardly got anything on. on. <laughs> it's probably a battery charger. I'm charging the batteries because we've been off hook up for a while, haven't we? Yeah. So There's 10 units of uh, 10 kilowatts. I need to take a meter read in. And the units included in the pitch fee. 20. And electricity chargeable with half a meter read in. And then it's 38p for additional units. So how many kilowatts do we use at the previous size? Oh, six then? pounds worth we used, and that was 39, uh, 39p. So probably work that out. Very nice. Right, chemical emptying point. <laughs> and it's got this little contraption here. I put this. Oh, God, it's quite heavy there. Put that down. Put your toilet set on there and empty it into there. I do say to use organic, um, Elle sent there talking about, but I use for Sol Bio, so it should be good. And so much to wash your hands as well. You can use it as a toilet, so yeah. Stained glass windows as well. Difficult to get rid of old vehicles on Orkney. You can't just take them down to your local scrapyard. But beautiful views. Beautiful. Yeah, more and more you're going to find campsites charging for electricity. The 
previous CL we were on charge for all of your extras, so mind you it was only £6. And this campsite uh, includes 10 kilowatts of electricity. Uh, I suppose we're fairly high users of electricity, we tend to like the, um, the heating on <laughs> when it gets a bit cool. It's not cold at the moment so we don't really need the heating on. However, our EcoFlow, which we use to charge all the phones and everything, has run nearly run out of charge. So what do you do? You turn to the sun for help. So we've got the 220 watt solar panel, EcoFlow solar panel, and just running it in via this lead into the EcoFlow, which is under the sofa. And that's given us a useful near, near 200 watts of solar power. Mind you, it would take 11 hours and 27 minutes to fully, fully recharge because I let it get down to 4%. Which is silly of me really, but there you go. Yeah, 5% now. So it should get it up to 30% before the sun goes down. Here's the dog walk. You can use the whole field apparently. This is farmer's field, but do you let you let you use it. Go on, don't want you going in the long grass though. Go very far. Not your ball though, is it? Hey, Ready? Oh, you need to stand back a bit. Dog walk goes all the way around the campsite. It was only when I got to editing the video for um, for this. Uh, campsite pool farmhouse CL. I realised we hadn't recorded an ending for it so uh, we've come back from the future to record this it's ending. really clever aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah so it was a really really quiet campsite. <laughs> it couldn't have been any quieter we were the only ones on the campsite the whole time we were there well two nights we were there and it was uh, fabulous views. Um, the campsite itself a little bit rustic and uh, it, it was fine. It was it was wonderful, in fact, and I really enjoyed it there. And we definitely go back there. How much was it? It was fifty pounds, so it's twenty five pound a night. Yeah. But you had ten kilowatts of electric included in the price, didn't you? Yeah. So when we came to do the sums before we left, we didn't owe any for electric because we went out all day, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So no, it was very nice. Mobile signal again was brilliant on. EE yeah. and on Vodafone. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you again when we're on another video sometime in the future. <laughs> right. Bye then. Bye then.